These are different men. They are coming into a different United States. They're dealing with a different Catholic Church and a very different world. The whole atmosphere is different. When Pope Paul VI came here, there was still a great deal of nervousness in this Protestant country about its relationships with the head of the Vatican. That had, of course, come about during the candidacy and finally the election of John Kennedy. Now, John Kennedy, in a sense, put the Catholic issue to rest in his famous speech to the Protestant ministers in Houston. But he did so by saying that he was not going to have a tunnel to the Vatican. In fact, the Catholic president did everything he could not to have close relations with the Vatican. And when Paul VI came here, they were still nervous. He only came to New York for 13 hours. He came in and he ran out. It was a visit to the UN. It was a political visit then. Totally. It was not a pastoral visit at all. As a matter of fact, President Johnson came up to see him. It was a kind of an arm's length gesture. But look what's happening now. Not only is the Pope yes. going to go to Washington to be embraced by a born-again Baptist, but yesterday something happened that was unthinkable 14 years ago. Presidential candidate, and he is a candidate, Ted Kennedy, kissed stepped forward and kissed, kissed the, the ring. 14 years ago, that would have been the end of his candidacy. Here, I wish to state again how greatly I value your institution. For, as I stated on that other occasion, you are the first to be convinced that there can be no true human progress or lasting peace without the courageous, loyal, and this interested pursuit of growing cooperation and unity among peoples. Yes, the conviction that unites us in this common service of humanity is that at the basis of all efforts there must be the dignity and worth of the human person. Decisions and resolutions can be adopted by the representatives of the nations, but their true embodiment will have to be brought about by the people. May the hopes that they place in the efforts and in the solidarity that links link us all never be disappointed may they experience in the achievements of the united nations the fact that there is only one world and that it is the home of all Thank you, and may God sustain you in your high ideals.